Isaiah 26, 3 says, You keep him in perfect peace, whose mind stays on you because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26, 3. Perfect peace is found in God alone. We can have temporal peace. We can have momentary peace found in the things that we acquire and accumulate and based upon our reputation. Uh, all these things, however, are that which fades because nothing is concrete or immutable aside from God alone. God is the only one who is unchanging. He will never waver from who he is. He is the constant source of peace. He's the constant source of truth. He truly is the way, the truth, and the life. And we know that we can become born again when we believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and we repent of our sins. When this occurs, we can go to God in anything and everything trusting that God's perfect peace will be with us. And that is why Paul had uh, revealed to us that prayer doesn't always need to be in the prayer closet. Of course, Jesus says, go to the prayer closet where no one can see but your Father in heaven, uh, and he will reward you. We, we know that prayer is an intimate relationship, an intimate connection with our Heavenly Father that doesn't need to be proclaimed or revealed to the public. But we also know from Paul that we can go about our day in a lifestyle of prayer. We can thank the Lord as we drink a glass of water. We can thank the Lord that we safely cross the street. We can thank the Lord uh, for the work that we have. We can be in constant communion and fellowship with the Heavenly Father when we're born again. And it is by keeping our minds stayed upon God, we will have perfect peace because we are trusting in God. Whatever we trust in, we are going to tend to speak on much more. If money is our God, we're going to speak on our wealth and our accomplishments and the businesses we have and the like. But if we truly place our trust in God and nothing else, and he is at the forefront, and there is no idolatry that comes before him, we're going to speak about him. Our peace is going to be found in our knowledge of knowing that we know God and God knows us, that we are desiring to live for God and God is living through us in the power of the Holy Spirit. And we need to always be striving to keep our mind upon God because if we're not doing that, we're not going to have trust. We're going to go easy. We're going to be easily swayed to other things. We're going to put our trust in uh, other aspects of life that are temporal rather than the eternal one, who is the Alpha, the Omega, the first, the last, the beginning, and the end. And so may we just learn to always set our mind upon God. Wherever we are, whatever we're doing, may we strive to have this constant fellowship with God because we have God living within us who are born again. We have the Holy Spirit who is our advocate and our helper. And may we just continue to strive to even in the midst of very rocky times, in the midst of stressful times, whatever season we may be going through, whether it's a breakup, whether it's a loss of a job, whether it's the death of a loved one, whether it's financial strain, whether it's just confusion of our purpose and why we're here, so long as we are pursuing after God, God will answer. And the most difficult thing is, is this answer is never, well, mostly, most of the time, not in the realm or aspect of being on our timetable. Many times it's on God's timetable. And we know that a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as a single day for the Lord. We know that from 2 Peter 3.8. And in knowing this, we need to learn to apply our lives with this mindset that so long as we are pursuing after God, staying in his word, uh, staying in fellowship with him throughout each day, not getting distracted by the reading of many books or the listening to many podcasts or even in things that are good, uh, if we are putting God at the forefront and we are just desiring to spend each moment of life the best we can, the best we know how with him, he will not only give us peace, but he will also give us direction. And in that direction, we will have peace. And the peace is confirmation and validation that this is the way the Lord desires us to walk. And he will let us know this is the way. Walk in it. So may we uh, seek to have perfect peace, not by seeking after peace itself, but by seeking after God. Because when we fixate our mind upon God continually, we naturally begin to trust in him more. And the more we trust in God, naturally, the peace that transcends all understanding is going to be given to us because we are showing God that we trust him in anything and everything. 
and God will reward us with his peace, and through that peace, he will direct us to where he desires for us to go.